On the May 31st, 2005 podcast for HomeNetworkHelp.info, we covered syncing files between multiple PCs. Our first video covers briefcase and how to use a briefcase. Our second video will be covering synchronizing of offline folders. Uh, offline files are similar to briefcase files, only in the general concept. You work on copies of files that can later be synchronized with the originals. In briefcase, in briefcases, the files are, port are the portable part. During, you bring the briefcase files to another PC for editing and then return the briefcase files to the original location for syncing. With offline files, there's usually no second PC involved. Rather, there's one PC that sometimes con is connected to the network and sometimes not. Offline files lets you keep working on the normally shared network files even though you're disconnected from the network. Uh, we're going to try to recreate that scenario here in front of you. As usual, I always suggest that you go to your start, help, and support and bring up information so that you can find uh, the great help information that Microsoft has for offline files and other things. Uh, <clears throat> this tutorial will be using Windows XP. Now, the easiest way to do an offline file folders or in files is to, you would usually have it in, in a situation where you have a shared file, whether it's via a map drive or via another way. In this case, I've actually created one that is on our Z drive, and it's just a folder that has access to a sync folder that I created. Now, before you can do offline files, you actually need to, one of the biggest things that you do is you have to turn off fast user switching. So that's via the control panel under the user accounts, and you will basically remove or change the way users log on and you'll want to get rid of the welcome screen and the fast user switching. So you apply those options and now you go to the location of the folder that you want to sync. You really can't sync an individual file for an offline mode. You need to select a folder. So you can the best way to do this is you can actually right click if need be and you'll be able to do that but I prefer to go via tools and then folder options and then go into offline files and then say check mark offline enable offline files now you can set different options like synchronize when you're logging on synchronize when you're logging off you can have a reminder you can create a shortcut on your desktop you can even encrypt the data there are advanced options for other settings that you can do we'll keep it kind of simple for this video uh, click OK and then I also like to go into the synchronize option then and make sure I check what I want to synchronize. So we selected this is the folder we want to synchronize. I like to go into setup and I actually like to check this little box here that says ask me before synchronizing the items. The reason for this is sometimes I don't want to synchronize, sometimes I do when I'm connected or not connected. So it's a nice thing. You can also set up other options like on idle. If it's been sitting for a little while you can synchronize. This is good in this in instances where you have very large files and you want to be up to date ready to go at a moment's notice you can also do schedules so we've set that setting up and now we're actually going to select the folder we want to make it available offline uh, as you see here I went ahead and checked for this folder and made it available offline now as you see now it's not available offline the way you can tell is by the little icon that you usually see in the bottom left of the screen you'll see a little like it's like a little arrow well when you create it the first time it will sync it but now you'll see this little icon so as you see inside here I just have a test document and it's pretty simple it's blank in this case so how can we do this to show you well we'll pretend we're on a laptop and we're actually going to disconnect from the network so to do that I'm going to go ahead and go into the properties of the network controller and we're going to disable the network drive or network connection so now this will be shutting down and disappearing as you see it actually tells us that there's file that the offline files are available but the network is not so let's go ahead and go back into our folders and now we're going to make changes to our document so we've now changed the document and we're saving it now this is if you were at home or whatever and you're working on the file you made your changes. Now you've come back to work and you're going to re-enable the network. So it's enabling it 
or I'm technically in my scenario I'm connecting in. Now it will actually prompt me what I want to do. Like I said, you can make this an automatic way, but I like to do it for the, to show you. So I said yes, I want to go ahead and synchronize, and it will synchronize the files, make everything okay. And now when I go back in, my files will be synced, which obviously uh, you're good to go. Now when you're in an online mode, the Z drive is actually you're connected to the network share. Uh, when you kick it into an offline mode, it's using that offline folder option to get access to the files and change them. So this is a great way to synchronize for laptops. Uh, it ke basically keeps a copy on your local PC and then when you connect up it will synchronize the changes back and forth. So read more on the help, otherwise I hope you listen to the rest of the podcast.